What's going on everybody? It's Cloud again. Um, sorry about that. Um, I'm still trying to get this little patch thing to work on my ROM. Um, well, the ROM I ripped from my cartridge, I should say. Um, on my computer. And so every now and then I do have freezes and screen blocks. So I'm trying to figure that out and fix that. So this is going to be episode 2.5. Um, and in the last episode, we or in the first half of this episode, we lost... Wingly number one. So we're making a death box. Sadly, we haven't even got a jib badge yet, and we are already having a death in the party. Which is going to lead us to releasing Pokemon after we use them. So let's add Wingly number one. Wingly. Wingly, you died. So let's see if the little tweaks I made um, help this run better and not freeze. Again, if you see me save a state, it's just because I'm trying to uh, not have to majorly backtrack and re-record tons of sections and replay tons of sections because I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that at all. So we're at Sprout Tower. The bell sprout over 100 feet tall. People say it came from in the middle of the pillar here. Alright, cool. See the pillar shaking? People are training upstairs. I'm pretty sure they are. There was up. Spot Tower was built long ago as a place for Pokemon training. Awesome. Only those who reach the top of the top will receive a wonderful move. You keep telling me that. So let's see if the improvements work. So we have a trainer battle here. Hover Heart we battle, the tower will stand strong. So far so good. Going to Kelvin. So pretty much we'll do 2.5, we'll do Sprout Tower, and then I will go off and into the sunset and train for a little bit. And then from there we will take on the gym in the next full episode, hopefully. Um, we'll take on the gym and we'll move to the next location. We'll move our way through down to Azalea City. As long as the uh, game is willing and able. So we'll see how long my patch works and we'll see what goes on. But I hope everything is going well. I will have this video up probably today, Saturday night. It's about 11.30. So I'll probably have this video up tomorrow on which would be Sunday. So I hope you guys are having a good Sunday. Um, we found a paralyzed heal. Awesome. Save 200 Poke Dollars right there. And we're going to have another trainer battle. We stand guard in this tower. Here we express our gratitude to show respect for all our Pokemon. Awesome. So it's just a perfect time to leave somebody. You guys have to also rem <laughs> I have to keep remembering when I'm trying to speed up during battles and stuff, I need to pay attention as well. Because, uh... Sometimes I forget, and that's how we lost Wingly, number one. That's how we lost Wingly one. But we're going to have a little four-person party going into this, uh, this gym battle, so. Team back in there. Just trying to get some experience. Get some experience! Okay, everybody's good to go, so we beat that guy. And there's a Pokeball. And this is the only Pokemon we can catch in this tower. And it's a Radica. So we'll switch in Adrian. So, and then we get a Pokeball. And throw it on that Radica. Rattata. Rattata. So we caught Rattata. It eats anything. Whatever food is available, it will settle down and produce offspring continuously. That sounds like a rat. So we give it a nickname, a male. So we're gonna call it Fangs. It's got two big buck teeth. Should have called them buck teeth. But, uh, oh well, we got an X accuracy, but that's not gonna help us anyway. So, uh, another Rattata. 
we're just gonna throw out Kelvin to uh take care of that. Bell sprouts. Bell sprouts. Kelvin is getting a workout this game. But that's okay, because we're keeping Kelvin the whole game, which is what we want to do. And, uh, just gonna keep trying to get teams to evolve so we could, uh, get some powder or something. Just in case. The one we should really be trying to evolve here is, uh, is Adrian. Or not evolve, but level up, at least to get, like, rock throw or something. Because that's going to be a big help in the gym. Flying type. Burn the shit out of that bell sprout. And that's that battle. So we're almost done here. It's the last floor of Sprout Tower. Oh god, I don't know what I did. I apologize for that. But uh, there's a potion. Sorry guys, my video recording is really bad tonight. Um, I just worked 13 hours today. I should be in bed since I have to get up early to go back to work, but I'm not, so I'm devoted to you guys and making you some videos. Um, not just for you, it's for me too, because I have fun and might as well record my Pokemon playing stream. Here's another dude. The older's TM likes even pitch black darkness. Oh great, it's Flash. We don't really want Flash, I don't know if he's going to use it. We can use it in the cave though, but we already went through the We're using dark cave though. That's Ember. And that's the end of that. Let's heal up uh, Kelvin. He's getting kind of. Kelvin's getting a little beat up. Probably hates me. But whatever. Hey, what's up, man? Let me see how much you trust your Pokemon. Sage Troy sent out a Bell Strap. Bell spots are common. I can tell. It's not gonna last very long because it's gonna get Ember in the face. Got a hoot hoot. We're not even gonna take a chance of walking into a peck or something, so we're just gonna come out. And Kelvin is level 13. And Kelvin also has quick attack now, so that's good. Oh, it's silver. Or, not silver, it's rain. Oh man, I'm way off tonight. Oh there, you showed us what you got, and it was good indeed. Take this technical machine. However, you should care more about your Pokemon. The way you treat your Pokemon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokemon are not tools of war. Huh, he called himself the Elder, but he was no match for me. Sure enough, those who lecture how you should be nice to Pokemon, they cannot defeat you. All I care about are strong Pokemon that win every time. The rest of them don't mean anything to me. Using a escape rope. What a dick. So we got an item here. An escape rope. And we got a battle here. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between you and your Pokemon. Alright then. Bell spread. And we're gonna go straight into Kelvin. Oh. What's up, Kelvin? That's a dead bell spout. Okay, he took a hypnosis in the face, which is good. Or she, I should say. I I don't know. Took a burn. That's that. So we'll go back to the team. And now we'll go back to Kelvin. And Kelvin's gonna end this battle. Ah, excellent. Hmm. The lead battle is quite elegant. You should be able to stand up to Faulkner. And you should be able to make good use of this. It's a technical machine called Flash. Take it with you. 
When a Pokemon makes Flash, you can illuminate caves no matter how dark they may be. You can try it on Bellsprout, for example. Awesome. So let's get the H out of here. Boom! We are gone. So that's that. So let's go heal up. And then I'm going to go do some training off screen. And, uh, yeah. I'll go do some training. And we will get back, and next episode we'll take on Faulkner. And do a little bit of running around and see what we find. So, yeah, take care, guys, and come back later for the next episode. So, have a good night, guys. Take care.